We all have some wrinkles or little pores that make us look natural and unique. So when it comes to sculpting a realistic human face for a 3D animation, it's all about the details. They differ good work from great work. Here at Pixel Vision, our students spend days just creating small details for their 3D projects. One of these days has just begun for Franziska. She is a student of ours who's specializing in 3D modeling and sculpting. Good morning, Franziska. Hi. How are you doing today? Really good. Feeling motivated? Yes, always. Francisca is very kind and gives us the opportunity to look over her shoulder today while using ZBrush. So what project are you working on right now? Right now I'm working on my second demo project. It's an old man from India. I'm focusing on the face, details and the upper body. And yeah, this man also has really long hair and a beard, so I'm gonna do some grooming as well. So why an old man? Um, I just find it more interesting. I think older faces, they, they tell more of a story. When it comes to sculpting, it's also a bit more challenging because you have all the wrinkles and if a person is really happy their whole life, you, they have these laugh lines and they, around their eyes, for example. So yeah, it's more interesting to sculpt. So where do you get your references from? Is it like all in your mind? Mm. Yeah, so I found this one picture of this old man, um, which I really liked. And so I decided I want to do, I want to sculpt this man. But then I'm collecting a whole bunch of different references, faces that are maybe a bit similar. Because sometimes if you don't have a, like one picture with a really good resolution, you don't see many details. And I'm also always looking for interesting expressions in the face or interesting lines. Yeah, I put everything I like together and yeah, create my own style. How far have you come um, till now and what is your task today? Um, so now I already sculpted the face and the body, so I have the basic shapes. Yeah, you can already see the muscles and some bigger lines in the face. So I really want to have all the fine lines like under the, the eyes and the pores. Can you explain how you uh, create those wrinkles in ZBrush? Um, it seems like a lot of work. Um, yeah, so usually I just block out the, like, the main forms and the main wrinkles and I use this, um, it's like a standard brush, but I use, I changed the, the alpha, so it's a bit more sharp. On the reference picture I have, I can see, um, well, he has two bigger wrinkles going from the eyes down the cheek, so I tried to block this one out. It's um, really easy in the program to exaggerate um, everything. For example, if you see on your reference, he has this line here. It's important not to create one huge line across, but I try to um, break the line up in smaller lines, so it's not like a really straight line. How important are details for the bigger picture? I mean, it's so tiny you barely see it. It looks way more realistic, even like if you zoom out and you don't see every small wrinkle, but the whole form, it just, it doesn't look that flat. So even also when you, um, in the end, when you render and then the light hits the uneven skin, it creates some nicer effects and it doesn't look that flat. The human face has much more details than just wrinkles. Uh, what other details are you working on right now? So now I'm placing the first pores on the face. When you look at pores really close, you can see that it's not only a hole, but it looks a bit more like a crater. So I started with creating only one pore and then I created my own brush where I randomized um, the pores. So now I 
have a brush with a whole bunch of pores that I can place, for example, on the cheeks. Are the pores everywhere on the face? Well, I mean, yeah, you have pores everywhere, but you can really just see them like on the, on the cheeks, for example, or on the forehead. Later on, I use the smooth brush and smooth them out, but the pores are not that strong. After I place the pores on the cheeks, I go in again with the calf brush and then I just connect these pores in a direction going up to the eyes. And also I try to connect them to the wrinkles. This looks perfect to me. Um, are you satisfied with what you did? So once I placed all the pores, I was already quite happy, but I found that something was missing under the eyes. In the skin you have a lot of bumps and really small wrinkles. So for this area, I used a brush that created all these little bumps. And then what I'm doing is I'm using the calf brush again and then I just try to follow these lines and connect them with the wrinkles that I already placed. So just to make it look a bit more realistic. Francisca, I see that um, around the mouth you create wrinkles too for this old man, but um, in your reference he has a really long beard. I mean, you don't see the wrinkles, right? Yeah, that's true. Um, but I still like the idea that the face looks as realistic as possible. I mean, also, even though he has the beard, you can still see his lips. So yeah, I try to make it look realistic. For me, it makes a lot of fun just to capture every little pore and every little, little wrinkle. You sometimes get lost in doing it, like... Uh, yeah. You, you... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. That happens all the time. Like, I could spend hours just on this little part, probably. And then in the end you won't see it because he's having a beard. But, <laughs> yeah, but it really makes fun. <laughs> So Francisca, all of this, what you just showed us, happened in one day, right? Yeah, all of this took probably eight hours. I plan to be finished maybe in two months, yeah. Because we have a deadline in January, so I still have to work on two other projects, so try to be finished in two months. So when have you started working on it? Um, I started in the beginning of October, so almost a month now. Okay, so as a whole, three, four months. Yeah. Looking at all those wrinkles and old men's faces, do you have a kind of a closer look on your grandfather's face now? <laughs> or is he, is he like, Francisco, what are you looking at? <laughs> yeah, you definitely start looking different in people's faces. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> cool. Thank you very much for letting us have a look at you and your project. And um, we wish you all the best for it. And. Uh, I'm sure it will be great. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.